That's right, kids. It's once again time for Comics in Christ. And in today's episode, we mirror the heroes. Our scripture today comes from the book of James, chapter 3, verses 13 through 18, and then continuing again in the book of James, chapter 4, verses 1 through 3. Who is wise and understanding among you? Let them show it by their good life, by deeds done and the humility that comes from wisdom. But if you harbor bitter envy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast about it or deny the truth. Such wisdom does not come from heaven, but is earthly, unspiritual, and demonic. For where you have envy and selfish ambition, there you find disorder and every evil practice. But the wisdom that comes from heaven is first of all pure, then peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere, peacemakers who sow in peace reap a harvest of righteousness. What causes fights and quarrels among you? Don't they come from your desire, that battle within you? You desire, but do not have, so you kill. You covet, but you do not get what you want, so you quarrel and fight. You do not have because you do not ask God. When you ask... You do not receive because you ask with wrong motives, that you may spend what you get on your pleasures. Thank you, God, for the inspiration of this word. Amen. I talk about superheroes so much uh, in my life. I see a parallel of living in many of the stories that Schuster wrote about the Superman or Bob Kane wrote about the Batman or Stan Lee wrote about the Incredible Hulk or Captain America. There's so many imageries that exist within heroes that becomes this this mirror that we hope that we can hold up to ourselves and begin to see our reflection in. We need to see an example of somebody that's willing to do right at all cost. We need to see this image of individuals that know a path to follow and they stay on that path no matter what. You know, we have this image of of Superman. And Superman is this individual that has infinite strength and speed and power and Superman could easily take over the world and, and have everything for his own. But there's this moral compass within Superman that motivates him to do the right thing. We look at the imagery of the Batman and we see this person with the substantial wealth. We see this person that has all of these gifts and skills. A person that knows how to exist in the darkness But we see the Batman use his skills for good and to take care of the citizens of Gotham City. I think about the narrative of the X-Men. And if uh, one of the things that I love about Stan Lee and the X-Men, each X-Man, each character in this X-Universe has something that sets them apart as being different. And there are some that look at those differences as bad and some look at them as differences for good. And it's when that those see that their differences are for the better, they are able to go out and care for the world. It's the difference between Charles Xavier and, and Magneto. It's the difference between Charles and Eric. One person sees that the gifts, the, the differences are gifts, And one person sees that the differences are things that will always be held against them. I love all of these stories and all of these narratives because it gives me another way to look at what God wants me to be as a person.
In today's scripture in James chapter 3, there's this narrative about being a person who is a peacemaker. And there also exists this narrative of individuals who accidentally create havoc and hard feelings because they, they use their gifts improperly. I want us to always remember that even though that we're different, we have beautiful gifts within our differences to be peacemakers to the world. I want to share with you, just like Superman, you have a strength that exists in your life that you can use to care for another person. I want you to know, just like the Batman, that you exist within a community of friends. And even at times that you may feel common in some areas, that you are still blessed with knowledge and strength and skills that are always enhanced by the community of faith that we surround ourselves with. As we hold on to all of these images, as we look at them in the, ex in the examples of the comic books, or we pray about them in the reality of who Jesus Christ is, we always get to see an image of caregivers who are willing to do what's right no matter what. The founder of the United Methodist Church is this guy named John Wesley. And one time John Wesley laid out the ultimate pattern for us to think about if we want to be the heroes of our stories. The ones who stand for good and do good no matter what. And it's this beautiful phrase that says, Do all the good you can, in all the places you can, for all the people you can, for all the needs that you can, with all the tools that you have, do good. I want us to pray over ways that we can see how God blesses us with tools and not see them as negative differences, but to see them as tools that we can use to show other people they are special as well. And I want us to use the strengths, the fruits of the Spirit that exist in our lives so that we can go out and care for other people. And the more ways we try to do that, the more ways we do all the good we can in all the places we can, for all the people we can, and all the times that we can, and all the ways that we can, we begin to be what James says in this scripture. We become peacemakers who sow peace. Look for that places of peace in your life. Celebrate the things that make you different. And use the tools that you have that make you strong to help other people find their strength as well. And we will sow peace and find places of righteousness. Precious God, thank you for giving us the things that make us who we are. Help us to use them to help others see who they are in your kingdom of grace. Amen. This has been a presentation of DWO Podcasting.